everybody, and welcome to tonight's free virtual yoga class here at True Beauty Movement. So tonight, I'm really excited to teach you guys yoga for activating your dreams. So we're gonna feature three different doTERRA essential oils, three of actually my favorite essential oils. I basically always have these, always in our household, in our box. Uh, if you are new to my channel or you're new to True Beauty Movement, welcome to the True Beauty Movement. This is all about redefining beauty and empowering women from the inside out. And that is through yoga, that is through essential oil, that is through beauty and lifestyle tips. And really, you guys, it is all about just being yourself, discovering your truest self, being confident in who you are just as you are right now. And if you are off track and you're really just feel like you're on a rocky path and you're just you know doing a job that you don't really like, you're in a relationship you don't really like, anything in your life that feels negative or heavy, this is all about getting you back on track to really living a very positive life, full of positive energy, and living your best life. So I really hope that this inspires you, and I hope that the daily posts and things like that that we have, that's really what it's all about, is uniting all of us true beauties and inspiring us to be our best self. So today, you guys, I want you to be really open as we think about our dreams here, okay? So think about, you know, sometimes we think about what is it that we're, you know, our dream, our biggest dream for our life, whether it's our career, our relationship, a combination of the two. Sometimes we have something that comes up right away, right? It's something that we know that we want, something that we're striving towards. And sometimes we sort of are a little unsure. We haven't really defined what that is, but maybe we know that something in our life feels off or we don't really feel that happy, but we haven't really defined what's going to make us happy. So I want you to really be open either way. Be open if you really have it defined, if something else comes to you, okay? Sometimes they can come to us in our subconscious that we're supposed to hear. And if you do not have it defined at all, just be really open again to what comes to you. So try not to control it too much. Um, oftentimes when we're getting on our right path, it's about letting go and being open and, and really trusting our instinct and trusting what feels good, okay? So for the oils, you guys, I always like to go in order of chakras when possible. So we're gonna start with the root chakra here. So balancing the root chakra, that is our abundance, that is our self-confidence, that is our sense of stability on the path that we're at. So you feel really confident if you're kind of shifting your path a little, okay? So I like to do just maybe one or two drops here of frankincense. Frankincense is one of the most healing, high vibration oils. It's also one of the more pricier oils because it is so healing for basically any ailment you can think of. They say when in doubt, use frankincense. So it is a wonderful oil, everything from wrinkles, you guys, you can use it in your skincare, to um, feelings of feeling depressed or anything like that. Um, I mean, gosh, you can use frankincense for anything, any skin ailment. Um, literally, I, pretty much anything I can think of, you can use frankincense for, okay? So I also just mixed it with two drops of wild orange. Wild orange oil, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love wild orange. This is going to really activate that passion, okay? So this is our creative spirit here in our orange chakra. Then we're going to mix it with stimulating ourselves here with a little bit of peppermint. So again, about one, two, maybe three drops. Mix it all together. The peppermint's gonna be nice and cooling. And just start to close your eyes. Start to slow down the breath. So just really balancing here, having both sides of the neck. Press into the temples. And I want you to press a little bit. It might feel a little funny, but if you're at home with this, press a little bit underneath the nose. I want you to activate, okay, a little bit of the sensation of that peppermint under the nose. Just so it stays there. And then close your eyes. We're gonna center ourselves. So middle finger to the thumb, elbows in nice and tight. And start to lower the chin. So I'm gonna go around to everybody in class here and offer them the same oils. Of course, at this time, if you're at home and you have these oils, you guys, I recommend you put them on at this time. And again, just start to close your eyes and start to deepen your breath. So you guys, where I was mentioning some of these ailments, remember that if you are interested in doing a wellness consult, you can message me or comment below, and I'd be happy to do a one-on-one -on -one with you over the phone and go over your top three goals, and I'll give you a custom remedy with the oils, okay? So a lot of people enjoy doing that. You can change your life. We're really focusing on, there you go. Focusing on you and any type of chronic ailment or anything that's coming up in your life that maybe came out of out of nowhere and you're not sure how to handle it, 
These can be really good for natural solutions and they are incredible, you know, very high quality therapeutic grade oils, okay? So we're going to slowly just start to move the oils to the side. If you're in class, again, just start to close your eyes and just start to place the wrist in front of the nose. Take a few deep inhales here. So it's gonna smell really nice, that, that wild orange there, nice and citrusy, kind of balance out. And we're gonna go ahead and connect the middle finger to the thumb. Deep breaths here. So start to relax the belly at the same time we're tilting our tailbone, okay? So have that nice solid backbone. And just start to ground yourself here. So deep in your exhale, deep in your inhale, have them be the same length. Start to bring in your ujjayi breath, that victorious breath here. We're going to slowly start to separate the arms out, okay? So we're reaching the arms, basically the right arm to the right side of the room, the left arm to the left side of the room, and just stretch it out. We're keeping that same hand measure here, okay? So bring that inner balance here. And just kind of let yourself kind of flow here. You may start to create a little bit of a balance. You might just stay perfectly still, whatever feels good. So just stretch the arms. So I want you to feel like you're stretching all through the joints here, all through the elbows. Deep inhale. So start to deepen the exhale a little bit longer and then start to bring the shoulders back. So opening up through the heart, listening to the soul here on what our passions are, what our path is. And I want you to think of anything in your life so I want you to think of kind of passion-wise, career-wise, okay? Some type of hobby, anything like that that brings you peace. So for some people, it might be playing music, it could be painting, it could be writing, whatever it is for you. And just slowly, if the back is arching too much, start to tilt the tailbone a little bit more and at the same time, just kind of like the bottom of the spine straight, okay? And then the upper spine, we're opening even more. So to lift the chin, opening through the heart, opening through the soul. Deep inhale, deep exhale. So see if you can kind of imagine the last time you did this hobby or this passion. Again, it can be a career path, whatever it is for you. Kind of get you in that zen place. Get you to relax and just kind of let go. Is this something you did today? Is this something you did maybe last week? Has it been months or years? So just start to connect if when you were doing this, did you feel rushed? Did you feel in the moment? We're going to slowly start to bring the hands back towards, kind of in front of the heart, but we're bringing the hands straight out, almost like we're serving something, okay? And then slowly bring the hands towards the chest, and we're gonna repeat this. So then open up here, lift through the heart, through the soul, lift the chin, opening up our heart, and exhale. Start to come all the way back, serving, so how we can serve others with this passion, okay? So this connects us to our dreams. So bringing our wrists back, and just find your rhythm here. So inhale, stretch, lift the chin, and exhale, serving forward, coming back towards the heart, nourishing the spirit. Inhale, lift, open more through the heart, exhale, and nourishing the heart, recharging our batteries. Find your flow. Find your flow.
Beautiful, guys. Keep going. Find your rhythm. It's almost like you're dancing here. Find your rhythm. We're burning calories at the same time. Work in the abdominal muscles. Inhale, lift, lift through the heart, reach behind us here. We're going to do a little back bend here as we reach back. So open even more through the heart. Oops, move my crystals. All right, so slowly start to lift the heart. So remember, we're looking up here to be aware of the wrist. Try to have the thumbs all the way to the edge of the mat, okay? So here we have our feet kind of in comfortable seated position. See if you can lift up the hips. We're working the arms. The arms are how we branch out, how we reach others with our passion, okay? How we connect. So inhale, lift, okay? Make sure those feet aren't falling asleep here so you can space them out a little bit. Lift the hips, lift the heart. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower the hips. Try not to land all the way down if possible. If you do, that's fine, okay? But do your best just to hover. Work those arm muscles here. A little micro bend in the elbows, okay? We're working the biceps here for strong arms and the triceps. It's gonna create nice shoulders for the summertime as well, okay? For all those awesome tanks and things like that. Fun fashion item for summer. So inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, bend the elbows, cover. Inhale, lift. Speeding it up. You'll notice we're activating our spirit here. It's a little faster tonight. Inhale, lift. Exhale, higher calorie burn. Inhale, lift. And exhale, find your rhythm. Lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Find your rhythm. So see if you can kind of squeeze the bottom a little bit as you lift up, okay? Working the hips just helps to lift the butt physically. Lift the chin, exhale, chin towards the sternum. So adding on a little bit here. Exhale, chin down, inhale, lift up, exhale, chin down. You're gonna start to create that heat in the body here. You're gonna get a little tired, that's what we want. Work the abs, belly button to the spine. And exhale, the feet come forward here, reach up, we're gonna clap our hands, very nice. And exhale, stretch forward, release, feet are together here. And exhale, so move the nose towards the knees, okay? And here you guys to release any back pain here and still listen to our heart, okay? So still connecting to our dreams, our deepest passion. What we wanna do is expose the heart, so press the shoulders back, sometimes we'll be like this, we're hunching over. So press those shoulders back, okay, really nice guys. And then start to kind of lift the heart a little bit, lift the chin, make sure those feet are touching. And remember, you can grab onto the feet, the shins or the calf muscles, avoid the knee, or you can grab onto the, um, the thighs here. If you do that, just make sure the elbows are nice and tight, okay? So lift and exhale, release. Inhale, lift, shoulders back. And exhale, nose towards the knees. Good job. Inhale, lift, exhale. Inhale, lift, and exhale. So pulling tighter each time. Lift, and exhale. Inhale, belly up to the spine. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, lift the heart arms up. So twisting through the heart. Inhale, we have that left foot down, and the left hand rather on the left foot. Twist back. Very nice, you guys. Yep, reach towards the stars here. So really, really straighten that arm as much as you can, uh-huh, and wide hand. Reaching towards the stars, reaching towards your dreams, okay? Twist, twist, twist. Exhale, right hand down on the right foot, and lift on the left, okay? So twist, reach towards the stars, and exhale. Very nice, guys, so ready? Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, belly button to the spine, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, we're lifting through the heart this time, and right away coming all the way back, so if you bring the feet down, we're going to sit up, and lift, lift the hips as high as you can here, and just start to move the feet back, we want to have the, the um, ankles right underneath the knees, really important here, okay? So if we're too far back, it's gonna throw off the knees, too far forward, we're really kind of hurting our low back and our wrist area, okay? So just support our body here, thumbs to the edge of the mat, and lift the hips, the head rolls back a little bit here, 
and pause. Exhale, slowly start to lower the hips. Remember, we're hovering here too, okay? So lower, kind of hover. So if you need to, you kind of go back and forth. Those wrists might call out a little bit here, okay? So listen to your body, can you take a little break? And then inhale, lifting up. And exhale, hovering down. So back and forth, back and forth. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down, back and forth. Back and forth. Very nice, you guys. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Back and forth. Your body's going to go, oh my goodness. I'm already tired. That's what we want here. Inhale, lift. Okay, so here, left foot towards the center of the mat so you have a little bit more stability. Lift that right foot. Very nice. So pointing the toe. Here's the challenging part. We want to kind of stack like this. Try to have your hips square. Okay, so see I start shaking a little bit? That's what we want here. Lifting, lifting. This helps to just really develop back muscles, like low back muscles if you're prone to back pain. Helps to slim the thighs. Lift all the way up. Deep breath. Okay, so knee towards the chin. There you go. You got this. We're almost done. And straight out. Knee towards the chin. There you go. Out. Chin. Out. Chin. Out. Chin. Out. Chin. Out. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all the way down. Oh yeah. <laughs> so start to just give the hands a little bit of a break. And exhale, just kind of relax the feet. Just bow forward here. So just start to move into your gratitude, give gratitude here for any passion that you have in your life. If it's that hobby, that I mentioned earlier to you, just get gratitude for even having, just kind of acknowledge that, being aware of that. Gratitude for any time that you have in your life to spend on hobbies or anything that brings you peace. It could be listening to music. That's really a huge passion for a lot of us, just rocking out to music in our car, right? Or whatever gets you in your zone, in your flow state. Okay, so just give gratitude for whatever that creative outlet is. So remember here, universe, God, higher self, fill in the blank there. I'm so happy and grateful for, and just fill in the blank there. Whatever that first thing that comes to mind is, that's always the right answer. Whatever the first thing that comes to mind. Exhale. Relax the head. Beautiful, you guys. So slowly just kind of notice what came up here. The first thing that came to mind, that is definitely linked to your dreams, okay? Whatever that is, the highest version of who you are. So we're going to now put our right foot in the center, okay? So be aware of the wrist here. Can you take a little break? You can even, you guys, if you need to, kind of come down to the forearms and do the same type of thing, okay? If the wrists are calling out too much. And just have your hands inward this time, okay? So full expression of the posture here. We have the thumbs. They're facing out. We're lifting, remember we start by having the knees right above the ankles, okay? So lift the chin and kind of lift the hips up. Then move the right foot to the center of the mat and start to move the foot up very nice towards the sky. So remember here, see how my hips kind of lifted? Square the hips here, okay? And then start to just point up, start to lift the chin. So now we're gonna point directly out, okay? And then inhale, okay, towards the chin, very nice. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep moving with your breath. You can move the head back if you want, whatever feels good. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Lift towards the sky, you're doing great. And exhale, all the way down. Deep exhale. So keep the eyes closed here. We're gonna do a little reflection here, moving into child's posture. So eyes are closed as we move onto our knees here. Okay, so toes together, heels apart. Remember, we do wanna have the knees as wide as the mat. 
Okay, so a lot of people who do child's, they have their knees like right underneath their chest or kind of in line with their hips. True child's posture is actually you have wider knees, toes together, heels apart, hands come forward, okay? So the hands are not all the way up here. That's another big thing I see with child's posture. We have the hands further back, so we're taking care of our core. So shoulders down the spine, so you have nice kind of space between the ears and the shoulder. That's the, the correct child's posture. It's really going to support your body. So here, bring your intuition, the area between your brows, all the way down. As low down as you can here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's True Beauty Quick Tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.